Welcome back. An Easter tradition for many families is getting the kids dressed up, Easter egg hunts, and church. COVID-19 is causing the way congregations worship to change. 41 NBC's Tina Merzitsky has more on what Easter services will look like for many this year. As far as Easter, you know, it's the first time that I think anybody probably could remember in history that there, would, there won't be any Easter service on their campus. Many pastors agree they aren't letting the pandemic stop Easter church services. Christmas, Mother's Day, and Easter, like you have to, those three days, you, like you have to make it. At Harvest Church in Centerville, Pastor Jim Cowart planned to do a weekend long service before the pandemic. I was actually going to preach outside on Saturday on these block parties while the kids did the egg hunts and things like that. So we've really had to go to plan B or C. Churches are still worshiping just worshiping differently now. We can't gather together, so we're gathering online. Pastor Dominique Johnson with Kingdom Life Church in East Macon says people can stream the church service as well as have a virtual communion. We're allowing our um, congregants to come by and pick up prepackaged elements. Uh, we'll handle them according to their family size. Then at the end of the message on Sunday, I will do a virtual communion with everyone. Johnson says he knows it's hard on some families not having to physically go to church, but this too shall pass. It's going to be interesting. I think it, I think a lot of people are just, you know, kind of just, just discouraged or disappointed about it, but I also think uh, we know that he's still on the throne. In Macon, Tanya Motorzitski, 41, NBC News. And today, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp urged Georgians to plan for online and call in religious services this weekend. He said, quote, to all Georgians celebrating Easter this Sunday, I am pleading with you not to not attend any services in person. If you attend worship services in person, you risk exposure to coronavirus, potentially endangering your life, the lives of your neighbors and your loved ones. I know this decision is difficult, but we will get through this together.